In this dream, I was sitting on the roof of my house talking to Allah. I said, Oh Allah, allow me to walk on the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and let me see the gardens of your mercy. Then Allah said, Okay Qasim, I am sending Jibreel in a clean place in front of your house. He will take you to the place where you will be able to walk on the path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And from there, you will reach the gardens of my mercy and blessings. I became really happy and went to my brother, telling him Allah is sending Jibreel alayhi salam to me right now. When my brother heard this, he said, Qasim, what are you talking about? Why would Allah send Jibreel alayhi salam? He didn't listen to me, so I left my house. Then in the park nearby, I saw a light coming from the ground. My brother was staring at me, thinking what has happened to Qasim. In some time, I saw Jibreel alayhi salam coming from the sky. His wings were purely white and there was light emanating from it. They looked like puffy clouds and they were so white that the back of the wings could be seen from the front. And all of those wings were moving around very quickly at once. This was such an amazing sight for me. Jibreel alayhi salam came near me and his beauty was tremendous. I felt that he is one of the first angels ever created. I said to him that Allah told me that you will take me to some place. He said yes, Allah had just given me the order, grab my hand and you will fly with me. I grabbed his hand and I told my brother look, this is Jibreel alayhi salam and he has come to take me. My brother became surprised that I was telling the truth. He ran to meet Jibreel alayhi salam but he didn't know there was a terrace in front of him. He was about to fall over but at that moment Jibreel alayhi salam caught him and landed him on the ground. Then he took me far away and landed me. He said, this is where I was ordered to take you. I said, okay, and walked some distance. Jibreel alayhi salam left and I didn't know where I was. But then I saw the footprints of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I followed those prints until I reached an amazing place. The place had gardens and different types of trees and plants. They were such that I have never seen before. There was a beautiful sweet scent which I have never smelled before and there was a calm breeze that felt amazing against my body. I felt a strange type of pleasure and became very happy. It was a special feeling of joy, relief and satisfaction all at once. Then I saw a person reciting Surah Rahman in a very beautiful and soothing voice. His melody was such that I have never ever heard before. I was immediately captivated and sat down next to him and listened to his recitation. And I felt a very strange pleasure every time he recited this ayah. I looked back at the gardens and said indeed, we cannot deny any of the favors of Allah. Then I got up and ahead of me, I saw the nur of Allah. Then I felt sleepy and started to lay down there. I thanked Allah for bringing me here out of His mercy, for bringing me to a place that I could have never ever imagined. Then I fell asleep in peace. Di dalam uh, cerita mimpinya, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim bertemu dengan Malaikat Jibril. Pada saat diceritakannya, Malaikat Jibril datang di depan rumahnya dan menjemput uh, Syed Muhammad Qasim untuk ikut terbang. Di dalam mimpinya melihat bagaimana uh, Malaikat Jibril yang mempunyai sayap yang luas dan panjang Serta bulu-bulunya yang putih Dan Malaikat Jibril bersama mengajak Said Muhammad Qasim untuk menjelajah ruang angkasa Dan ini bisa dibaca uh, di dalam kisah Mimpi Syed Muhammad Qasim Agar kita lebih faham Bagaimana Syed Muhammad Qasim Menjadi orang yang terkenal Di langit Dan uh, pada saat sekarang Masih belum terkenal Di bumi ini Demikian Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh